Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, which means it's a Cricut tutorial, and today is kind of a designy tutorial. Um, if you guys like the design tutorials, let me know in the comments below because I like to shoot them for you guys, and if they're helpful, I want to shoot more for you guys so you guys have more options of what you can make. So today, I am teaching you guys how to curve text. I'm going to teach you how to do it in um, design space as well as do it in Illustrator. So this is a really cool technique. So on one of our tutorials that I did on how to layer vinyl, I had a circle of text, which I actually bought this off of Etsy, but I do know how to create these. So sometimes it's just easier for me to go and buy a design if I just need to get something done really fast. But it is doable and it doesn't take that much work. It's a little bit easier in Illustrator, but it's just it's doable in, in, in the design space for Cricut. So check out those links below if you need any more Cricut products. I always have coupons on my blog. It also helps support my channel so I can always bring you guys some awesome content. And if you don't have a Cricut, buy one down there because um, I'm always going to have the latest coupons and my channel is going to teach you how to make so many fun things with your Cricut. So you're going to want to park right here every Monday and check it out. Alright, so let's go. Today I am showing you guys how to curve text in Design Space. I used to use Illustrator a lot for this because I didn't even think to do what I've been um, discovering on here. So it is a little bit more work than if you were to do it in Illustrator, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it and it is really not hard at all. So first we are going to pick a shape that we want to um, be our guide. I'm going to do two different um, examples. So I'm going to do a circle. I'll actually do three different examples. So let's insert a circle, a heart, and I'm going to make him just a little bit fatter by unlocking him. And then I'll lock him back up so he doesn't scale any different. So let's do this. And let's find an image from the access, the Cricut access, to work with because that's always fun. So let's go with a flower. Yeah, let's go with the flower because it's springtime and I love flowers. So anything that says this right here, you have to pay for. Anything that has this and no price is included in access. So if you have Cricut access, um, you have all of these fun things to work with, which I am learning. I love Cricut as a, 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 access. <laughs> Sorry, the words aren't working again. Um, I love Cricut Access because sometimes I'm just not in the mood to design much and it's right there and it's just simple, easy peasy. Okay, so let's pretend like we're making three different projects. We're going to use the same word just to save ourselves. So let's type happy. Let's just type happy just to say that we're happy. I'm going to copy and paste this three times so I can show you a couple different things. So this is going to be for the flower, this is going to be for the heart, and this is going to be for the circle. Okay, so when you're working with type, and I see this a lot on Pinterest, people will type on Design Space and just leave it. They might change the font a little bit. So let's say they come over here to edit, and they edit um, their font to be something real scripty-like. Okay, so... Um, if you want more like overview of where all these buttons are and what they do, check out my how to use design space because I go over all the buttons. I love bakery. Let's go with bakery. That's actually one of my own fonts. Okay, this is what I see a lot on, um, on Pinterest and it drives me nuts. They will do a scripty font. Okay, I don't like bakery today. Let's change this. Let's, I don't know why he looks so um, scrappy for some reason. He looks real smooth right here. Buddy Scrappy, so let's go with Billionaire. Okay, this is what I see a lot. I see people either do this and they're done and they print it or they cut it and they've got these gaps and it's just, it it's beautiful. I just, it, it's great. So it's not. So I see these people that kind of scooch it together because they use this, they use this portion of design space and they'll get it as close as possible. So watch, I'm gonna show you, I'm getting this real close. They're about to get happy. Our happy is about to get happy and be holding hands. So, okay, just all of a sudden scooted real close. So they go, okay, whoa, 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 wait, these are overlapping. Now I don't, I, I don't want it to overlap that much. So they'll go back and they'll make it look decent. 
they'll get it to about here. So these letters are happy and then these ones are kind of happy and then these ones are not happy because they're not even touching. And they're like, okay, let's just cut it like this. I see it a lot on Cricut, on Pinterest, um, people doing this. Now, this right here is what you need. So once you get it pretty good, you're going to want to go in and this is going to not, this is going to un take it out of type form whenever you change the stuff. So it's hard to go back. So make sure your word is correct and spelled right and all that good stuff before you start messing with this. So you're going to click right here. And what that is, it's isolating all of your letters. You're going to now truly make happy happy by putting all of your letters together. And then you'll see that there's these lines. Not only does this P have a line, but this P has a line. If you overlap them, it's going to cut both of those lines and you're gonna have this little tiny sliver cut out that might come out while you're working with weeding. We don't want that. So now we're gonna hold down shift and we're going to select all of these puppies. And we are going to layers, we're going to weld them. We don't want to attach them because that will just make them so they don't move, but it will, however, um, still cut those little lines. So we want to weld them, which sometimes it takes out these little pieces. So sometimes it's better to make it real big before you weld it. So now we're going to undo all that because actually we're not, we're going to, so I taught you that on that happy. Let's pretend like he's getting cut out with the flower and, um, I'm just going to make him small so he can go over with the flower. And then say we're going to overlap them later in a project. So we set it up like that. That doesn't look, yeah, let's do it like this. Okay, that's a cute design. Okay, so now let's talk about actually curving the text because that's what we're here for today, right? Okay, so now that you're set up and you know how to make your type perfect, let's work on making it how we want it first. Let's find our text that we want to use. And let's go with black letter. Black letter is a fun text kind of not really for a happy it's not very happy feeling but what we're gonna do is we're gonna say we're working with a circle and we want happy to go up around the circle because it's trying to convince itself that black letter is a happy font even though it's not um, so now we are just gonna go straight to this we don't even want to deal with kerning and all that because this is just how we're gonna do it we're gonna move our little letters around this actually I'm gonna undo I'm gonna undo all this because that was just not a good idea to unseparate them yet so let's go back to regular text and we're gonna make it the size we want it first so say we want okay this is looking good this will fit right around about the top now we can go in and isolate our letters and we're going to move them one by one Let's start with this P because that's going to be right in the center. And then I like to start in the center of our, my words because that really helps me um, get it nice and even when I'm doing the whole thing. And you know what? That A looks real small compared to the H and the P now that I look at it because we're curving them, we're separating them. So the nice thing is we can just go into this A and resize him. Now he looks way too big. Let's make him. Okay, now I just unlocked the P. Okay. Slow down, Tamia. Okay, so let's make him good sized for happy. And I really hate this design because black letter is not a happy font, but now you get the gist. So let's actually make a cute happy font with this heart right here. And let's have happy come up a little bit around maybe this heart. Actually, let's let's turn this heart. Let's, let's turn him. He's a sideways heart. He's a happy sideways heart. So we're gonna turn happy and resize it, find the font that we want. Let's find an actual happy font. This font looks happy. Black letter is not a happy font. Let's go with, hmm, you'll notice that there's a lot of fonts in here that are mine. Oh, this looks really happy. Okay, so this font is super happy and we are going to make it even happier by curving it right up around this heart. So I'm going to angle it so that my center, the P, is right where I want it. And then I'm going to isolate the letters. And then I'm going to put the furthest letter where I want him and the other furthest letter where I want him, just to give me kind of like an idea of where my other letters need to be. 
And then I'm just going to slowly move them around where I want them. And it's happy. So I could, probably could have gone in and made my font a little bit bigger because it would give me more space to work with. But now you see we've got a cute happy heart and a happy flower and a really unhappy looking happy circle. So that's basically how you curve font in Design Space. It's super fun and super easy. What I would do now is I would hold shift, 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 shift and click. And I'd go back to my layers and now that they're all highlighted, I would attach those so that when I go to cut them, I don't have to redo all that. Um, when I click go, you'll see that if I did not attach these, my HIPAA is, my happy is going to turn into HIPAA for some reason. But happy stayed the same because it's all attached. Now you might want to turn this puppy so that you uh, don't waste so much vinyl. So turn him and stick him up in the corner so you can just use a little square. Okay, we're done with this tutorial. So I hope that helped you guys. And let's see your projects. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram and all that good stuff if you guys are doing that. And if this is helpful or you want more design tips and tricks, let me know because I'm going to be doing a lot more design stuff on my channel. Um, and we can, uh, we can just mess around with some fun stuff. All right, love you guys. Bye.